This is adorable, right? I just have like lines all over my face. Okay. Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a haul from Myrtle Beach. So I got this stuff like literally two or three weeks ago, but I filmed it like the day I got back from the beach or like the day after. Like the footage like won't work in my editing system. Like it says that files are missing, even though no files are missing, just saying. But um, yeah, so I'm just kind of refilming the haul video, so I apologize that some of this stuff doesn't have the tags on it because like I filmed the haul so then I wore some of it because like I thought that that was all good but then it was like JK we're not gonna let you save this guys I'm not this pale but like I have my blinds open so like it just makes me look really pale but I'm not this pale I promise um basically I'm not trying to brag in any way so please don't take this like that I got all this with my own money so no hate comments and by the way a few things really quick um if you're like where are you Kind of redid my room. I know you guys are going to be like, oh my god, room tour. But I'm totally not done with it at all. Like, the only thing I did was, like, paint my walls and get a new bed spread. Like, I still have to get a bunch of new stuff. So, I'm not done with it at all. So, I will do a room tour whenever I'm finished with it. It's just that I'm really not finished. Um, but if you're wondering, it's, like, black and white themed. Which, you know, black and white also has gray in it. Okay, so it's, like, black and white with a pop of color. Which the color wall is that wall. But it's a surprise what color it is. And it's, like, Paris themed. So... Yeah, I have a bunch of posters, but they're not up yet. So, yeah, I'll do a room tour whenever I finish. Also, I got blonde highlights. I got them, like, a month ago. So, yeah, and if you follow me on Instagram, you know that. But, yeah, okay, so let's just get started. I don't know when... Okay, I'm going to start off with Swagit. Oh, and I also went to, like, a pawn shop and got a bunch of movies, but... I don't know what those are, so I don't have those with me, but yeah. Okay, so from Target, I got two pairs of shorts... And I don't have the tags on pretty much anything from Target, but I'll try to remember the prices for the most part. So, the shorts, these were $20, and they're just, like, kind of American flag shorts. Like, they have stripes and then stars, and then the pockets have, you know, stripes and stars. And they're just kind of a distressed denim, and these were $20, and I did end up wearing these on the 4th of July. I also got this pair, and they're, like, a... They're not buttoned. That's so ratchet. Okay, I got these pair, and they're, like, an ivory color, and they have, like, this crochet detail on the front, and these were $20 as well. And then I have this shirt, and it's, like, a Marvel shirt, and I think this was, like, $15.99, and, yeah, I don't know, it's just super soft and comfy, and I can probably wear that to school. And then I got these two tank tops, because they were only 12 bucks, so they're just, like, kind of cropped and loose and flowy, and they have a little pocket. So I got the pink one, and then I also got it in gray as well, so these were... 12 bucks. Then I got this shirt, and I think this was like $13.99 or something. And it says Brooklyn, New York, and it's just like a big boxy loose shirt. Then I got this shirt, and I think this was $15 or $16, bucks, and it's like a geometric kind of thing. It has like a racer back, but it has like double straps, and it has like this little crochet detailing at the bottom, and I love this. I think it is so adorable. And then I got this shirt, and it says love is in the air and it has like um this like chiffon like stuff on the side i don't know and this was on sale for like 12 bucks and i got it in a medium because it was like a crop top but this is like a shirt that i like don't want to be cropped you know so i got it in a medium i also got a bathing suit at target really the sun is like oh good now i also got a bathing suit at target but I'm going to do a swimsuit collection soon, even though I know everyone's doing, like, back-to-school videos already, which literally makes me want to commit. But, um, I'm going to do a swimsuit collection still. I don't even care. So, yeah, I got a swimsuit here, too, but I, it's not in the bag. And then I got the Maybelline Pumped Up Colossal Mascara. And it's good. The first time I used it, I absolutely hated it, but now it's, like, it's a good layering mascara, but I don't think it's, like, really good on its own, but I don't know. I mean, it's okay. Like, I won't repurchase it, but it's not bad. So, that's everything I got at Target. Okay, and then we have PacSun. And this store is so expensive, I can't. Okay, anyway. So, the first thing I got is these pair of shorts. And these are my favorite pair of shorts I own. I literally wear them, like, two times a week. So, these were $36.95. And they're, like, a light acid wash with distress in the pockets. And, I don't know. They're just high-waisted shorts. And I'm in love with them. Sorry, they're wrinkly. They're, like, laying on my floor because I wear them every day of my life. But, yeah. I'm obsessed with those. And then I got this shirt, and I actually wore this with it one day on vacation. And it's like a purpley, 
little crop shirt and it has like little daisies at the top and it's adorable and this was $20 and then I have these shorts and these are heavy set as well and they have like little flowers on them and they're just like distressed and these were $36.95 as well and I got them to go with this shirt because I'm super basic and it's just the Brandy Stay Weird shirt and this was $21 and this was my first Brandy purchase ever so that's exciting I said that's so ugly okay and then I got these like black chiffon shorts because they're super comfy and they go with everything. And these were $26.95. So that's everything I got at PacSun. Okay. Um, okay, and then at Victoria's Secret I got a bra and a thong, but I don't want to show that because that's weird. And then we have Express, which I've literally never bought anything from Express in my life, but we went to like this mall in Myrtle Beach and they were having like a really big sale so I don't know I got a bunch of stuff okay so I'm gonna say the original price and then what I ended up getting it for so this was originally $30 and I got it for five bucks and it's like this white cropped top and it has like little lightning bolts on it which seems like just kind of stupid but it's gonna look cute with um my maroon high-waisted shorts and my like royal blue high-waisted shorts because I can't wear like a black crop top with them because they're darker shorts so I can't wear like a dark shirt with it so that's why I got that. Then I got this shirt. I took the tag off this. I think this was originally like 20 and I ended up getting it for 5 bucks. It's just like a blue cropped little tank top. And it's super soft and comfy. Then I love this shirt so much. It was originally 30 and then I ended up getting it for 10 And I love it. So it's like a black tank top. And then in the back it has like this little crochet skull cutout it's literally I'm not even like into the skull trend but I love this tank top so much I think it's so freaking adorable so I love this so much um yeah I wish it I wish I could wear tank tops to school I literally hate dress code I honestly don't think school should have dress code like I'm not even kidding anyway then this shirt was originally 30 and I got it for five dollars okay and it's just like a lace shirt it's a little cropped but um, I'll be able to wear it to school. It was five bucks and it's adorable. So I bought it. And then I got this shirt because it was super cheap. Again, it was originally 30 and I ended up getting it for five bucks and it's like this blue kind of shirt and it has quarter length sleeves and they just have little buttons on like the shoulders and I, it was really comfy and it was five bucks and I could wear it to school. And then I went to Air Postal and I picked up a few things because they were like on sale. And I'm cheap. So yeah. So first I got these two shirts from the Bethany Moda collection. And these were originally $16 and they were on sale for $6. Okay. So um, they're just like these little like tank tops. And then they have a little like bow cut out in the back. So I got it in blue and I also got it in pink. And these are from the Bethany Moda collection. I think I already said that. And then I got this shirt, and this was originally 18 It was it was on sale for 6 bucks, and it's like this teal blue kind of color, and it has like little cutouts like all around it, like I don't know. And then the back is like completely open, and fun fact, I made like an outfit of the night last summer in a shirt like this. It's like open in the back, and I wore a bandeau. And everyone was like, oh my god, you should have worn a tank top. You are a slut. And I was like, oh. Oh. Okay. Oh my god, this shirt. Okay, so this was originally $22.50. And then it was on sale for $3.99. Okay, and I was like, oh my gosh, I've always wanted a halter top. And it was $4. So I was like, okay, I'm going to get it. And it's just like this little floral halter. And if you don't know what a halter are, they're basically like, they don't have like sleeves. You just tie it around your neck. And it's just like open and... Yeah, I kind of bought this, and then I tried it on, like, after, and if you have boobs, like, in any way, shape, or form, literally do not buy halter tops, because, yeah, um, I don't know if I'm ever going to be able to wear this, like, ever, I don't know, maybe I needed to get it in, like, a really big size, it just looks really bad, so, uh, yeah, that's that, and don't worry, I'm not a mean child, I also got my stepdad a shirt that says, like, keep calm and eat bacon because literally that is my stepdad and then I got my mom two necklaces from Body Central and yeah but like I already gave them the presents like the day I got back so I don't have them to show you but yeah and then I went to icing and got some stuff because it was all like $1.99 so 
Okay, I got this ring, but I already wore it. But this is like the package, but it was only $1.99. And it's just like this gold, and it has like two little triangles, and it's just like adorable, and I love that. And then I got this one, and it's like a, can you even see this? It's just kind of like a cross. And then I got a toe ring. I don't even wear toe rings, but it was $1.99, so I kind of just got it. And it's just like gold with a little gem. I don't know. I got an ear cuff. I'm pretty sure this trend is from like 2010, but you know. It was $1.99, so it's just like black little bows, and then just like a plain silver ear cuff. So, that's everything I got at Icing, and it was all $1.99, so that was really cheap. And then, the last thing I have to show you is from Sephora, and I only got two things. So, first, I got this Tarte BB Cream thing with SPF 30, and this is in medium, and this was like a really dark shade. There's only like five shades, and this is like the third one, so... I totally didn't think it was going to fit me, but um, the lady like matched it to me, and I was super excited. So, yeah. I don't know. She talked me into getting this. The Tarte Amazonian Clay is like my favorite foundation ever, so I figured I would try the Tarte BB Cream. And I've had this for like a few weeks now, and I'm obsessed with it. I've literally worn it every single day since I bought it, so that's amazing. And I think that was like $35. And then I got this Buxom little set, and it was $29, and it has the... Like Buxom Mascara, which I'm obsessed with. And I have like the mini and it's super dried out. And then it comes with like the eyeliner and I don't know. It's like a precision thing and you can make it thick or thin. I don't know. But yeah, it's like all packaged. Like it's, it's packaged in like tissue paper so I don't really want to open it. But yeah, I got that. And then the last thing I got online. And this is from DressLink.com. I will link the website in the down bar. And I really recommend checking it out. Everything there is, like, really good quality, and it's all super, super inexpensive. So I picked up a bathing suit from there. And this is, like, an American flag one because I love American flag bathing suits. I don't even know why. Okay, so it's, like, a twist kind of style, and it just has, like, stripes and stars. And then it has this attachable strap to it, and you can, like, adjust it to fit you. And it's just, like... I don't know, it's just like twist and I think it is adorable. These are the bottoms and they have like stars and then the little sides like tied to a bow and they're like little stripes. So, and you can attach and detach this strap. So, that's that and I thought that was adorable. And then I got this set of five face brushes. They all came in like this plastic but I've already used some of them so that's why they don't have the plastic on them. I got this like really dense angled one and then this one is angled but it's not quite as dense. Um, this is really nice for blending, like, your concealer and, like, around your nose. Um, this one is just, like, a round top kabuki. And then this one's kind of, like, a flat top. More of a flat top style. And then I got this set of five eye brushes. And I've already used a lot of these, so sorry, they're kind of dirty. Um, this one's, like, a flat top, which is so nice for blending out the outer corner. Um, this is, like, an angled fluffy one, which is good for the crease. Um, another angled one for the crease. I love this brush. It's kind of, I don't know what they call these, but it's just super dense and like precise. And I love using this for my outer corner. I literally love this brush so much. And then the last one. This is just another like flat top, like really round one. Um, well, this is like a round top blending brush. This one's more of a flat top. And these were all so inexpensive. And these brushes kind of remind me of like Sigma brushes. So they were so inexpensive though. Like honestly, oh my gosh, I was like in shock. So I will have the website linked down below. Be sure to check it out because everything is super inexpensive and it's actually really good quality. So um, again, that will be linked down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Sorry this video was so long, but I literally talk way too much. So yeah, um, I love you guys so much and be sure to subscribe if you aren't already because it makes my day. And also follow me on Instagram. It's just Hopeful Guru and I update you guys on there all the time. So yeah, I love you guys so much.